Today's video is sponsored by Sophie and Toffee's Polly Pop Box. Check the link down below for great savings. So... Some of you grains probably have a good idea what's happening with these miniature mystery bags. Others are like... But Jackie, what's happening here? Flashback time. A while ago, I got some mystery bags for miniature dollhouse pieces from Wish and some from AliExpress. And from these mystery bags, a lot of them did promise that these would be miniature furniture, miniature foods, and miniature bottles and drinks and whatnots. Basically, dollhouse decoration. And not to mention, these were made popular and viral because of TikTok. But, 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 what ended up happening? I won't say it. I'll let you see what this looks like. Oh, hi, Hope Meter. I see you're not doing too good. It's okay, me neither. You've broken our heart. A normal person would actually have, you know, learned from the experience. However, not this one. Because there were new postings with more promises of miniature dollhouse decorations. It is no surprise that I love 112th scale type dollhouse decorations because I love toy photography. So I'm always on the lookout for new things that I can decorate environments with. And look at these bags. I mean, there's a bear, a puppy, a kitty cat, and a bunny. How evil could it be? It's gotta be good, right? Right? <laughs> 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 so come on this journey with me because we're going to be unpacking 100 mystery bags for miniatures. Well, oopsie doopsie, what I meant was 80 of them. Some of them should be bottles, some of them should be decorations. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications. I do have sharp pointy things. Some of them are old, some of them are new, but I love them all the same. And they threaten you exactly the same way. Please remember that this threat is a joke. It is not real. And just so that you see, it does clearly say dollhouse mini supermarket blind bag. So we're thinking in the theme of supermarket food, beverages, and small animals. I am curious on the ratio of the foods and drinks and small animals, but I don't want them to be cabochons. That's the thing. If you don't know what a cabochon is, it's basically a little decoration with a flat back. It's not a 3D item. It's garbage for my purposes. Let's just hope that we don't get any flatbacks, okay? Let me know in the comment section below if you think we're going to be getting actually good items or if we're going to be getting things that go in the trash. So let's go ahead with our first 20. Okay, so we just, we're gonna move. And this packaging is just absolutely adorable. I almost don't want to open them, but let's go ahead and hear that tear. Oh, very plasticky. Our first item is... <gasps> no! Oh my god, it is not a flat back. Oh, I have goosebumps. <laughs> it's a manik maniki neko. Am I saying this right? Yes! It is a Maneki Neko. You know what, let's let's get my felt. This is a special occasion. And it is a decorative piece that is often associated with restaurants and shops for good luck and good fortune. I love this. Oh my God, please be the same. Please let this be the toe. I don't want my heart broken. I'm so scared. <laughs> if this is the first thing that is good, Grains, we're gonna have some fun times together. And oh, oh, okay. Look, I am not upset because these are not flat backs. These are actual 3D pieces that can be used to decorate, whether it's your dollhouse, your environment, whatever you want. So we have a shark that clearly needs some paint job to be done. Or is it supposed to be an orca? I don't know. All I know is that it's smiling. Or is it crying? Which one is it? It is semi-transparent, so you can see the back. Not bad, not bad at all. These are so different from all the other ones we opened. By the way, if you are curious, I will leave a list down below of these older videos so you have an idea of what got me scared to this point. Let's just hope it's all good luck from here. I mean, we started with a lucky cat, right? Should be good. What is next? What is that? Oh, a little bunny. Hello, bunny. Hello, Jackie. Fancy seeing you here, little bunny. Likewise, Jackie. It's very nice to see you. <laughs> And again, this is not a flat back, could be used as a decoration on the bed, kind of like a plushie, despite the fact that it's not a plushie, it's still good. By the way, if you like plushies, let me know in the comment section below what kind of plushies are your favorites. As you can see, um, I'm very fond of the salt shaker plushie, but also, you know, Pokemon. I like Pokemon plushies. 
you oh oh i thought it was going to be another shark i'm like don't tell me now we have a panda up oh, that face is that a tie? No, it's not. That would have been great if our little panda had a tie, but that is not the case. That is a really cute panda. So far, I'm getting kind of like plushy vibes, maybe decorations on shelves. These are really, really nice. I will show you what they look like next to a 112th scale character, so you will have an idea more or less what they look like, or if they're for your size of collection. This one seems a little flatter and a little smaller. <gasps> a frog? Oh no! <laughs> I can definitely see this as being a character's pet. So if your dollhouse decoration has an aquarium, you can definitely put a froggy in here. It has a weird texture too. Very soft. It is a plastic, but it's, it's very nice. It's very velvety. I don't understand. They're all plastic, but this one feels extra nice. What? Holy shrimp grains. Holy shrimp. We, an axolotl, oh, oh baby. That is huge for 112th scale, but it's kind of like Pokemon-esque if you like larger animals. Look, normally I would be very annoyed because the scale is a little off. However, first of all, these are not flat back characters. Secondly, they can be used as plushes. So this is very different. Again, I am not salty thus far. I know you want to see me salty. I know, I understand. I hear you, I know, I know. I know. It'll happen at some point, most likely. Ooh, this is a chunky one. What are you? A doggo. Okay. All right. This is interesting. Again, still kind of like a statue decoration. Most of them seem like decorations. And you can definitely give these a good paint job and make them even cooler or different characters. Could also be a mini puppy. Could be a little dog for your character. And if you want to customize it to the color of your puppy, that works too. This one's also pretty chunky. What are you? Peekaboo. Okay, oh, that is weird. Mm, I think this is probably the first thing I am not a fan of. Look at the eyes. You can practically see through its brain. There's nothing there, just brain. <laughs> and the eyes, they look so empty, like they know too much about your soul. Oh, it's just, oh, no, so scared. I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look. And it's basically a sitting down bear wearing a toque hat. Uh, kind of small, looks like uh, something else, but uh... Yeah, let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> and we have, oh, a turtle friend. We have the frog and the turtle. That is cute. I like these. And if you don't want to use them as an aquarium thing, you can also use them as garden decorations, again, depending on what your environment looks like. This is a chunky one too. And we have, what the shrimp? Is this supposed to be a cheap version of Mame Goma? Ma Mame Goma? Yeah, why do I know all these useless words? <laughs> so Mami Goma is basically this super cute seal character. And this one is giving me this kind of vibe. And for some reason, the baby is like a banana. What are you? What is that? Oh, it's carrying, oh, oh. Sometimes I'm smart. Other times, give me a few minutes. <laughs> so it's mimicking basically like a human who would carry a baby on its back or wrapped in the front kind of thing because as this is what gave me the hit. This is what works. Okay, uh, we're humanizing, anthropomorphize, anthro, anthropomorph, anthropomorphize, anthro, <laughs> in other words, just giving human characteristics to animals is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Guess I just found a new word I can't say. All right, what we got here? Koala with baby. First we have seal with baby. Now we have koala with baby. Look, again, I'm not angry. These are not flatbacks. If you don't have a collection of characters, these are still cute on your windowsill. You can put them in your plants. You can create a mini environment with them just kind of being the main characters. I mean, come on, look at these. I said, look at it. Oh my gosh. So the koala does have a soul, clearly not like the other bear. And the baby is, whoa, what happened to baby? Oh my God. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so wait, here's the story. This is the koala, this is not a baby. This is a machine, and this is the real koala inside the machine and operating it like a game mecha moving around robot. Because clearly there's no body, which means the body's inside the brain, which means this is a robot. I feel like fixing it. I feel like making the body of the baby kind of hang out there. You tell me in the comment section below, do you think this is baby? Or do you think that this koala is operating a koala machine? I'm very curious your opinions. 
Our journey continues. Oh, this is tiny. Is that another? Oh, okay. That is not to scale with anything. The paint job is terrible. It started off pretty good and now we are exactly where I expected us to be. Please let this be just a one-time thing. Let's, let's not dwell on monkey with Bo. Although oddly enough, it does remind me of one of Mariah Elizabeth's character, except the bow was much larger. I feel like Mariah Elizabeth would have a fun time redecorating these squishy makeover. Pa! No, now it's all about miniature makeover. Huzzah! <laughs> That's a new series you got there. <laughs> oh, a cow. Okay. Uh, okay. You know what would make this actually a good bit of decoration? If you added extra clay on top of it, I'm talking epoxy clay, and make it kind of like a snout so that it becomes kind of like a milk jug where it's pouring milk from, from the butt area. A milk jug just pouring milk out of the butt. <laughs> It is very cute though. I have to say this is really cute. Again, probably cute decoration for kitchen stuff perhaps in your environment, but also like a little garden fairy. You have garden fairies, we have garden cows. <laughs> oh, whoops, where'd it go? Oh, wow, also not flat back. We have a black swan. Okay, do you sit on your own? Oh, well. Okay, I see you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is, this definitely sits on its own. And it probably is to scale too. Very nice. How rare are black swans? That's a good question. We have the, oh. So we started off with a black swan and now we have the Christmas ducky. Why does it look evil? I feel like it took away Santa's job and it's like, you know what? I am distributing the presents now. And just like Santa, it probably wakes up at the what? quack of dawn. <laughs> And instead of using a cute bow to decorate presents, it probably uses duct tape. Get out of here. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't even give you a 360 of the duck. Okay, here we go. Here's Santa duck. Very thematic to what? <laughs> What are you? Another dog. Oh, wait, doesn't this look like Ben? That dog Ben, right? There is a dog named Ben. Now let's see it next to the other dog. Or, no, they are not to scale with each other. I mean, we can't judge dogs, okay? If they love you un 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 unconditionally. Wow, English. <laughs> If they love you unconditionally, then we have to love them with big heads and all. That is weird next to the other dog. Definitely has a big head. It could be a puppy. Puppies have big heads, relatively speaking. Human babies have... Why is my hair? What's going on here? Stay, okay? Stay. Human babies have big heads too. Maybe anything. You know, maybe that's part of the cuteness. Next. Oh, that is a white thing. And it is... Oh, another koala. Okay, this one's eating an apple. It looks quite chunky. I'm really loving this. The apple definitely needs some work. It's like morphing into its body. But again, 3D... You know what? Maybe the animal packs are animals. <laughs> Am I just realizing this now? Is that what I bought? You know what? We'll find out with the other pack because I feel like I bought different. They had like option A, option B, and I took one of each. So yeah, maybe the animal one is animals. Okay. Oh, giraffe. No, another dog. This one is like a cheese with peppers. What's up with this dog's color? I said we weren't gonna judge a dog, but I do now. These are drastically different dog sizes. And of course the dog needs a lot of work. Here they are. Three different styles. One has text, well two of them have texture, and then the middle one just looks like a yellow watermelon? That's what I was thinking. So we all know about the pink watermelon, but there's also the yellow watermelon. That's what this reminded me of. Well, I can't talk today. I know many of you were very generous to give me your Englishes, and I did give them back. Can I buy Borrow it again, please. Thank you. Oh, y'all are so generous. Thank you. So many Englishes. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We should be able to be okay for the rest of the video, and then I will give them back at the end of the video, okay? I promise. If you're not quite ready to dabble with resin, but still want to create resin-looking crafts, then Sophie and Toffee's Polly Pop Box is the perfect start for you. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, Polly Pop is the new limited edition acrylic kit that lets you make your own accessories and jewelries, or even just charms. Let's make one. Let's make Snow White. Satisfying. And as you can see here, they come with every little piece that you need in order to build up your creation. And it has this really neat 3D effect. Most acrylic jewelry kits out there are about $30 to $50 with one project. However, with the Polypop box, which is also licensed, none of that 
fake stuff. It's real licensed with their collaborators. It is $54.99 and you're getting at least three projects. However, this is a limited run. So once they're gone, they are gone. So if this speaks to you, you can subscribe and save 15% with my link down below. But also, if you use the code NERDYCRAFTER5, you'll get $5 off your first kit. Again, check the link down below for 15% off and use my code NERDYCRAFTER5 for $5 off your first kit. Thank you, Sophie and Toffee, for being huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring today's video. So yeah, yellow, yellow watermelon 3D dog. Need some work? Its eyes kind of remind me of this teddy bear. Oh gosh. We didn't get any doubles yet, so we're definitely still okay. This is really tiny. What is this? That is... Is that supposed to be a snail? Oh, there's a hole in the... There's a butt. This is supposed to be a snail? What are you? So sassy with your hand on your hip. It's like, hey, 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 hey. It feels a little out of place, but I'm okay with that. And the... First, last batch. What are jello? Oh no, it's not jello. It's an octopus. Weird. Does not look like an octopus. There's like no definition. Hard to tell one tentacle from the other. Nyeh. It's okay. But we do have 20 more. And let's see if there's any doubles in this one. And off we go with the second batch. Hopefully it's not the same things over and over because that would be magnificent. And <gasps> is that a fennec? I think they're called fennecs, right? It could also be a cat, but just the, the pointy nozzle and the bigger ears reminds me of a fennec, but I think it is supposed to be a cat. I could be wrong. Let me know what you think it is. And I definitely would love a little bit more color on this kitty cat because it's a little harder to see the paws. So a little bit of a calico kind of would be cute, but we're starting off pretty strong. So at least it's not the same thing because in a previous mystery bag unboxing, every set was the exact same thing and I bought 10 of them. So instead of being actually random, they just put 10 of the same batches in my mystery box and I ended up getting practically, pr practically 10 of everything. Just say it. <laughs> Next we have a seal. This one's a little baby, so it could be to scale. I'm guessing this is exclusively animals at this point. We have not seen a single actual decoration. Oh, more of this. Soulless bear of doom. I look cute, but I am full of doom. What are these bears? Why are their eyes so tiny? Why do they have weird hats? Oh, this one has a bow too. So it's a queen. Queen bear is very weird. I don't understand these. Not a fan of them. Not one bit. This is a dinosaur? Yoshi? No. Oh, a hammerhead? So we have a kind of glass hammerhead. Not sure why this is here. Maybe it's supposed to be a tongue. I don't know. So we do have the shark or orca. I'm not sure. And they are kind of glass see-through. Same thing with that one. If you have a character or you like to decorate with nautical animals, you definitely have, you have nautical animals. Here is our turtle. Oh, this turtle has seen things. <laughs> it's like, Oh, turtle, what happened? What did you see in the water? It was the hammerhead, wasn't it? <laughs> Gina! Oh no! You're cheating on me? It's not what it looks like! Yeah, baby, it does exactly what it looks like. No! <laughs> so apparently turtle's girlfriend cheated, so things happen. <laughs> Next! I'm sorry about all these stories. We have another teddy bear. So yeah, if you're looking at this and you see an animal looking type baggie, they're all animals and they're not flatback thus far. We have another shark or a whale. Oh, that is a nice texture. I like that. It's kind of like paint splatter texture. Very cute. I have to say, I am pretty impressed that this has not disappointed me. Chicken! I mean, rooster! Do you stand on your own? Yes. Yes, you do. Hey, come back here. So we have a rooster that definitely needs some paintwork because the beak is the same color as the thing here. What's it called? Is it called a cockle? Let's see if I know more useless words. It's called a waddle. So this is a different color from the beak and it should have the same color as the top of the head. So it's a little on the stiff side, but could use a good paintwork. Oh, that one's chonky. Please don't be another bear. Please don't be another. Oh, oh, oh no. It may as well have been a bear. Why the soulless eye? Doggo! And why do you look like a sponge? This dog clearly looks like a sponge. A loofah, more specifically. We have another chunky one over here, and it is... Is that Pikachu? Is that Pikachu? That's gotta be Pikachu. Pikachu! <laughs> 
That is quite the mouth opening. Look at that. We have a fake licensed character. I don't know how Nintendo is going to feel about this. Nintendo, I did not make this. Just to be clear, I just bought it with the fake merchandise. We have a Pikachu. I did not expect that. It's like they ran out of animals with all the millions of animals we have on the planet. They ran out and they're like, oh, what is that? Okay, this is weird because it has like something tall over here and then something square over there. As I was saying, with all the millions and millions of animals we have, they went and got a Pokemon in there. That's good for me. I'm okay with that. What's in here? A donkey! <gasps> I love donkeys. The tail needs... Yeah, there's a lot of... Oh, and there's no separation. A lot of these need a good bit of work. They're not to scale. Some of them are. Some of them clearly, like the donkey, are not. By the way, when I was a little green in Egypt, I used to actually write donkeys. And the sound you make to make a donkey move is... That's how we did it. I used to write donkeys. <laughs> I love donkeys. They're good people. And I kind of like this one too. It just needs a good paint job and they'll be cute on a little miniature shelf. This is a little chunky, but not too big. We have a, oh, what is that? Is that supposed to be a hamster? I don't think it's a hamster. It's kind of like that kangaroo type mouse. I think I keep forgetting the name. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a hamster or a gerbil. I don't think so. If you know the name of what it's supposed to be with those big eyes, let me know in the comments as well. I think it's basically what Pikachu was supposed to be made as reference to or something. Oh, oh, a bunny. Mm, I am not a fan of this one. That is just weird. Okay, moving on. Oh, that one's big. That's a big one. That's what she... Okay, let's unbox you. Oh, we have a kind of duck. Oh my gosh, why with the soulless eyes? It has a little blah, 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 on top. I think this is what they use for mating season. Blah, 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 blah. Up there, we got some feather texture. Not too bad. For those of you wondering, this is the scale. <laughs> I mean, there are smaller ducks and swans than others. Birds come in different shapes and sizes. But yeah, there's inconsistency in the sizes here. Another chonky one. Oh, what the shrimp? What is that? What are you? Is this a Pokemon? I feel like this is a Pokemon. I'm not sure. Could be a slug as well. Next chonky thing is a dragon. Okay. <laughs> We got a dragon. Interesting. So here's the face. Okay, the dragon has quote unquote soulless eyes again, but there's eyebrows and a smile, which makes it less soulless. We can't see the mustachio here because it's all the same color. So a good paint job would do it some good too. I feel like this sits on its own too. Yes, it does. Mythical creatures, you say? I'll take the mythical creatures. Why not? No, koala! <laughs> This koala with the eyebrows is just so spot on. Oh, and he's got a tattoo on his back? Does this koala belong to a gang? Is there something I should be afraid of? Okay, yeah, it has glasses on. Definitely part of a gang. <laughs> what is this tattoo? Okay, I feel like they just got weirder and weirder, even though we're opening them all in the same order. It's, oh, that one just popped right out. What is you? Oh, a hedgehog, cute with a mushroom. And it's a little on the glassy-esque texture. Okay, that is cute. I'll take you. And in this set, we have the last one, which is a pigeon, I believe. Okay, it could be a pigeon, it could be a crow, or a crossbreed, or something of the sort. But this tells me it's not a crow. Not this coloring. Okay, kind of neat. We do have 20 more, and these should be exclusively bottles and drinks. Good to know that these, if you see this, they're animals on the inside. Well, double check, of course, but they were all animals. Interesting. Oh my god, wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. As I was like putting the papers aside, one of them felt like there was something inside, so we did miss one. What are you? Oh, I may as well have missed you. I do not care for you. We have a kitty cat in a bow tie, I think. I'm not sure. Is it a cat? Is it a chipmunk? Is it a squirrel? I, I can't tell. There's so much yet so little going on at the same time. How did they manage to make that happen? And just so you have an idea, this is my thumb. Look how tiny it is. Basically the size of my thumb. Very little. we go into unknown territory. These are all supposed to be different kinds of bottled drinks or canned drinks. In previous unboxings, we actually got, I 
think we got Coca-Cola and then we got water bottle Evian or something like that. And more often than not, we did get adult beverages. So let's see what Mang Dai has to offer us as surprises. First drink we get is not a drink. It's a gigantic orange. It's not what I bought. It's not what I bought. I'm telling you right now, that is not what I bought. I bought bottles of drinks. So there you go. We have a drink. We have the Starbucks logo in a mug. Okay, please let that orange be a mistake. Hopefully we have our coffee. Suddenly want coffee. Next one is, oh no, that is a dessert. I was corrected last time. It is not a dango. It's a different kind of dessert and I forget the name. Is it going to be a mixture of food and drinks? See, this feels like a drink. This feels like a bottle. What are we? A bottle! Finally! This one is a red label, an adult beverage. It is a nice bottle. Definitely perfect for your shelf of your character. This does not feel like a bottle. This is absolutely not a bottle. That is so clunky. What are you? Oh, gross. What the shrimp? Oh, it's a sushi. That's how badly it's done. It is a sushi. It is not to scale. <sighs> More often than not, every time I've picked up this packaging, it's always been trash. Yeah, I don't think they gave me the right thing. This is fat. Oh, this is flat. I was gonna say it's milk. No, I don't want to unbox these. Oh no. What are you? Oh, there we go. The what? They lied to me. They said drinks. But then there's like all this mixture of other stuff. Here's a drink. This is Milkis, it looks like. I do quite enjoy this beverage. Yes, Milkis, it says right here. It's like a milky fizzy poppy drink. I know it sounds gross, but give it a try next time you see it, it is delicious. Okay, I don't know what we're getting anymore, whether it's drinks or, oh, that is a drink. And this one is, we've gotten this one before in previous unboxings. What does it say? Martel. So I'm not familiar with what, here, let me, let me show you grains. There you go. I'm not sure what kind of drink this is. I know it is an adult beverage because of the brand, but nothing else. I do like the shape of this bottle. I'm already salty. Like I'm, I was starting off very positive and yet, oh no. These gigantic desserts and foods, they do nothing. They're useless to me. Maybe those of you who have bigger sized environments could benefit from it. At least you know what you're getting, but not for me. Oh no, is that a gigantic, yeah. So we have a pastry puff in the shape of a heart. I have to say though, the shading is pretty good. We have some raspberries, I'm not sure what this is, and it looks like an olive. I'm sure it's not an olive, but it looks like an olive because I'm pretty salty right now. <laughs> so all I can think of is, is salty foods at this time. Oh, these, these are just, these are not prime things. Oh, oh, another bottle. The tip is kind of weird. The tip makes me a little uncomfortable. But yeah, we do have a premium drink. Again, you grains informed me what it was. Never again will I buy the Mangdai baggies of this color. Pretty sure this is a bottle. It feels like a bottle. You are, oh, unlabeled. You must be olive oil. <laughs> this is good. If there's no label, you can always print your own. You are tiny. What you be? What you be? What? An egg? <laughs> we just get one egg? Insult to injury. Just one egg? Goosey, you get an egg now. You are now responsible for this egg. Now get out of here. <laughs> I sure as heck don't want to be responsible for that egg. What are you? What is that? Orange jam. Okay. Are they the whole orange? Why are they so round? It's like those large fish eggs. Ikura, right? I think it's called. Yeah, cheap, ugly, cheap and ugly is what I'm gonna call this set at this point. Oh my gosh. Another bottle, great. I think this is a type of soju, kind of like rice-based Korean. I could be wrong. Correct me, my Korean grains. This is not looking good. I'm gonna so I'm gonna rate these. Is that soup? That does look delicious though. Anything in a bowl could definitely be to scale because it always depends on how big a bowl or how small a bowl can be. So yeah, this is totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Suddenly craving soup. Here is a cupcake or a cake or a tart. I don't know. And it looks like it has that thing. What's it called? That thing that you kiss under. A mistletoe. Is that a tradition everywhere? In North America, if there's a mistletoe during the holidays, you have to kiss under it. Is that a thing everywhere else in the world? Or is that just a North American thing? Let me know where you're from if, if you've ever heard of that tradition. All right, here is a bottle. Oh, another premium drink. I like the transparency of this one. I really do. But the tip is making me uncomfortable again. Is that the same? Yeah, it is the same. Yes. These are the exact same thing. You can even see the indents. They're less visible on the white one, but you can see them on the transparent one. Same label, same everything, same uncomfortability. 
Oh gosh. The good news is, we are down to the last two. A lemon! When life gives you lemons, you make the lemons. You get it? Like, dilemmas? The lemons? You're done. You're done. No? Okay. The lemon aside. This is our last one. Will it be a bottle or not? It does kind of feel like a bottle, but I've been tricked before. You are... Oh, what is that? Red? Really? That is not the color of Budweiser. Definitely. Well, unless there's a premium version I'm not aware of. Not like I know, because I am not big into that. Let me know what you think and which one is your favorite set and why. If you want to watch previous unboxings of this kinds of mess that I've bought. At one point, I think I got like 240 packs. So if you want to see that, definitely check more of those up here. And if you want to watch something less rage-inducing in like fidget toys, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.